and maybe I'll just send the link just to Gabriel. Um, I printed out for you, um, oh, come all you faithful in Latin. Uh, um, you guys can probably hear this sometimes in Latin, um, but I thought it was a really good, I, I just did the first verse. Um, there's one for each of you. There's one for each of you. Um, so, I thought it was interesting because a couple of these words that we have actually talked about. Adeste fidele. You know, could you know the song will come on the faithful? Uh-huh. You know the words in English? Yeah. What it means? Okay. Um, so, we have met Adest and Adsos. He is near, you know, his present, or they are present. Adeste is the command. Whom and est are, are sort of so it's an S, a weird verb. You know, the being verb is weird in English, too. We say is, am, are. They even look like each other. Why do they all mean the same thing? Depending on who the subject is. So, adeste is this verb. But, oh, come. Oh, come. Okay. Be, and be present. Uh-huh. This means he, he is nearby, he's present. They are by or near present. This one says be nearby, or be present. What about like the word when, when, like, in, I'll come, I'll come in any level. Wait, like, yeah, that is also the command. So, but they're, what do you call it? Yeah. They're different, they're different words, but they both mean the same word in English? Oh, or are you... oh, yes. So, here, when he means come, or when you say, right? Mm-hmm. Which is in this one, too. Ades, or adeste, means be nearby, be present. We say in English, oh come, oh uh-huh. faithful, that's not what it is in Latin. Okay. Just be here. But that doesn't sound good. Yeah. Oh, be here. No. Be here, all ye faith. No. <laughs> that, it's not like a good thought. Oh come sounds better. So it's a different, different slightly new meaning. Okay. This one actually means literally come. Okay. This one means be here. Okay. Adeste fidei, lighty triumphante, happy. And triumphant. They don't have word, room for the at and in in the Latin because of Spanish grammar. A lot of notes. Uh, so that goes without that. In Bethlehem, I'm pretty sure we know what that means. In Bethlehem, um, Renita. Hmm. And they're telling both of these commands, Adeste and Lenite, are talking to a group of people. Lenite. Videte is in the next. Look at. See. See. Natum regum angelorum, him born king of Egypt. And then we have Lenite Adoremus, Lenite Adoremus. Venite adoremus dominum. Who are we adoring? Dominum, the Lord. So you you know quite a few of these words now. Um, ador, adoremus obviously means adore. Mm-hmm. It's a form that you don't know yet. Um, it means let us. Or come let us adore. Okay. It doesn't say we are adoring. It's let us adore. It's a little different. You'll learn that later. Um, but anyway, I just there's plenty of versions of this online. You know, some in Latin. Maybe you have. I have a CD in my car right now that has it in Latin. Um, I got Christmas music in my car, uh, and you can listen along. But uh, memorizing or learning songs in Latin will help you. Yeah, and then when we learn that form of adoramus, I'm like, yeah, I remember the song. This is what it is, and it and it clicks for you. So um, I highly recommend. And then um, you can also ask down the things and get them with your Latin knowledge by singing in Latin today. But Laney, Laney, Emmanuel, also very helpful. Um, those are two great Christmas songs for working on your Latin. Finding the lyrics in Latin and listening to them. And don't, I mean, you know what it means because you know it in English. Mm-hmm. And you can kind of start making some connections. So I highly encourage that. Oh. O come, O come, Emmanuel, or Rainy, Rainy Emmanuel. Uh, 
Um, all right, let's, what we're going to do is we are just going to dig in. I'm going to hit chapter 6, and we're going to read as much of chapter 6 as we possibly can get through before I have to send you on. Um, because we want to find out what happens. We've got all sorts of stuff going on. We've got um, Medus, who has stolen money, and Marcus and Quintus, who are just jerks. I don't know how to say it. Marcus, more so than Quintus, we will find out. But when last seen, they, one of them had possibly pushed the other one into the impluvium, and uh, their mother was saying, Where is your father? He's not here. He's in Tusculum, right? Uh-huh. Looking for Medus, who has stolen his money. He's doing so great in the Julius Aemilia household currently. So let's check out chapter 6. Follow along with me, and we will see how far we can get. Okay. We have another geography lesson, a very brief one, before we get to the story. In Italia, multi et magnae viae sort. Via, 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 the lines are viae. What is a via? We are sunt multi et magna. We are we are we are we are multi we are et magna we are in the house. We are Apia. We are Latina. We are Flamenia. We are Aurelia. We are Emilia. These are all names of major roads, just like Interstate 74. 80, you know, like we would list highways. Those are their highways. And they're on the map for you. We are Appia est inter Romam et Brundisium. Find Roma, find Brundisium, which is down in the field. And you see Via Appia? Yes. Via Appia and inter. Inter Romum et Brindisium. Inter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are Latina. Inter Romum et Capua. We are Latina oh, at Capua. Not very far away from Rome. It's the real Latina. Uh, we are Flaminia. Inter Romum et Arminum. Oh, it goes north, doesn't it? Via Aurelia in the Roman et Genoa. Via Aurelia is on the um, West Coast. So we have the West Coast. You see that? Yeah. Via um, Aurelia in the Areninum et Satentium. Very far up in the north. The major Roman highway at the time. Um, Brundisium, Capua, Aveninum, Genoa, Placentia, Ostia, Magna Opidus. Are these actually historical roads? They are? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. At, uh, at um, that list are all Magna Opidus. Ubi est Ostia? Ostia es profe Roma. Non es, es profe Roma. Non procur. Profe. Profe Roma. Procur. Ostia es profe Roma. You see the difference? Procur. Profe. Ostia es profe Roma. Well, you still don't have it. Do you? No. no. Okay, this hand is what? How would I describe oh, it's man. here and then it's here in relation to this hand? Now it's. Profe is near, Profu is far. Ostia is profe. Profe, Roma. It's very close to it. We see that on the map, don't we? Ostia is really, really, the dot of Ostia is really, really close to the dot of Rome. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. Okay, okay. 
um, two schoolum quoque prope romam et two schoolum et ostia so prope prope romam uh, brundisium non est prope romam says so cool ab roma fine tissuum uh, brundisium I'm sorry Brundisium is the one at the end of the Rhea Appia on the heel. Pro cool. Ah, ah, Roma. Ah, Roma. Ah, non prope. Prope. Ah, Rhea Appia longa. Ah, Brundisium. Um, Rhea Martina. Non tam longa est quam via apia. Let's take a look at that for you. Via Latina. Find the via Latina for me. Yes, for non capua. Via Latina. Non tam longa est quam via apia. What do you think? Don't worry about the individual words in Latin. What do you think it's saying? Is not long as? Is not as long as. We are Latina, non tam longa est quam we are apia. Tam, tam quam. The word tam, and then later in the sentence, the word quam somewhere, they're a pair. So much, uh, there's not even a good way to, so much as. As this. Um, um, it's, it's a way of comparing two things. And this is not even a really good translation. It's just, they come together and it's always saying, as much as this one is, this one is too. So, known tongue, not as long as this one is long. Does that make sense? We're going we're gonna to hear some other quantum quantum. There's always one that starts with a T and one that starts with a Q. And it means as big as this one is, this one is that big too. Quantum quantum. This one just means any sort of size or so much. So this is your first run in with a Latin sentence that really you can't take every individual word and translate it into English word for word because it won't really sound normal. But Tom Palm always means the comparing two things, and however much this one is of what you're talking about, in this case, longa, that one is two, or they're not. So, let me read that sentence again. We are Latina, non tam longa est, quam we are apia. And suppose if I wanted to do it word for word, but the we are Latina is not so long as is, and I still can't read anything to quam, the we are apia. It just doesn't translate that. Quam longa est via flaminia. Oh, quam again. It's like it doesn't have a quam. Quam, quam longa est via flaminia? Neque ea quam longa est quam via api. Quam longa est. Quam longa. Do you have any idea what that quam How long? Sometimes quam can also mean how. Yes, question. Quam, quam longa? Quam longa? Est, uh, uh, we have to do Neque, ea, quam longa est, quam via apia. I see the same words again, quam longa est, quam via apia. And you just ask, how long is the via flaminia? Not as long as the via apia. This aya I'm, I'm concerned about. Next way we know just means a no, not. Okay? Aya. Do you remember we have learned some pronouns? Um, the nominative sub subject pronouns. We learned is, aya, and id. They have been a little bit. Certainly is has. They have three sets, right? Sorry, sometimes Neil's ahead of you and I, I forget. Mm -hmm. Have you used is before? I think so. I think there's something else. 
Um, I feel like I've put some of those on your chart, um, and they don't have them in your new um, vocabulary. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I briefly have forgotten. Yeah, there is if. If, if, okay. If, yeah, if, 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 if the masculine and feminine and neuter. Do you have any idea why? We're talking about modes here. How long is the real woman here? It is not as long as the Rhea up here. It is not as long. But they use Aya. Um, why do you think they use Aya? Keep in mind we're talking about roads. What is the word for road? Uh, Rhea. Rhea. It ends in A. Oh. Yeah, it's feminine. When I say it is not as long as the Via Apia, I really think she is not as long as the Via Apia. Because I'm talking about a road. Mm -hmm. But in English, I wouldn't say she is not as long. Yeah. I would say it is not as long, because we call roads it. Mm -hmm. It just so happens that in Latin, there is a clue. Pronouns are really great, the fact that there's different pronouns for each gender. You know, sometimes in English we say something and I might use the word it, and there might be two things in my sentence that could be the it. Or I could be talking about two boys, and then I say he, and if it's not clear to you who I'm talking about. But in Latin, when there's a pronoun, it always matches in gender what it's talking about, and so I can figure it out. And I must be talking about the road. The road is not as long. It is not as long. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. So when those pop up, you know, you can stop, especially when you're working through it slowly on your own, you know, stop and say, hmm, it's the feminine one. Well, it means it in English, but what's it talking about? Something feminine. And in this case, it's the road. It is not as long. Peabody's Milius. Non tam longa said from Louis Padus. Uh, Louis Padus is in the north. You see the Padus? Padus. Mm -hmm. And then the Tibetis comes out of Rome and flows north. It flows through, it flows into Austria actually. It flows from north to Austria. And they said, Tibetis Louis, non tam longa said from Louis Padus. Padus Louis S. Longus. Tiberius Louis non um, Longus. Although in the picture it sort of looks like the title is longer. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to have to trust them. We've also had a whole bunch of clubs and three of them out next to each other. This is true. And maybe they are doing the, you know, the thing, you know, kind of. I don't know. Um, notice that when we talk about the road, it says um, Ria Latina non tom longa es. Here it says Tiberi Fluis non tom long good. Because they have the masculine end. Because it's Fluis that we're talking about. Circum opida muri. So in your picture, it tells you what circum means. Circum opidum. Circum. Yeah. Well, circum. Muri, wall, but kirkum. Mm -hmm. Kirkum means, well, oh, round. Uh, yeah, is it kirkum opida? Kirkum opidum. Kirkum opidum is muri. Kirkum opidum. How would I do All oh, the walls are around the town? Around the town. Mm -hmm. And we just found out something. Did it change in our picture? Kirkum opidum, accusative. Kirkum takes an accusative, not our lovely ablative preposition, right? With cum, sine, ex, of, all of those that had an ablative in this one has an accusative in Kirkum opidum. Kirkum opidum, or kirkum opida, muri. So, kirkum romam. Es murus antiquus. Murus antiquus es circum romam. Uh, in muro romano, du 
Your Beckham Cordicide. So, it tells you through the margin, your Beckham, you saw, and Cordica et Magnum Osseum. Remember that uh, they describe the Ostia of the villa. Do you know what the Ostia is? So, the that is Magnum Ostium. It's a gate. We call it a gate. You know, it's funny. The door in the wall. Mm -hmm. The town wall. You say the town wall has gate. It has dual decum porta. In muro circum Roma. Mm -hmm. um, porta prima Romana is Porta Capena. Porta Capena is prima. Uh, the, the, the first, the most important thing. They call it the Porta Capena. This is what it is. Here come over them two schoolum. Modus tam non tam non gazes. Tam here come romam. Modus here come romam et longus. Modus here come two schoolum. Non tam longus. Which one is longer? The one around Rome or the one around Tessalon? Mm -hmm. The one around Rome. Yeah. Uh, so, Weirdum, um, Murum, oh, Circum Opidum Tusculum, Murus Non Tom Longus Est, Quam Circum Romum. Not as long as the one around Rome. They're going to words over and over again so you get used to the pom pom. Alright. Oh now we're turning the page and we're getting into some sort of story here. We love you to eat as trope to schoolum. As to schoolum as we love we la as trope. Trope to schoolum. Ab opido to schoolo ad we love you to eat non longa Wea et. Wea ab tusculo ad wea nulli non longa. Non longa. Wea. Quia wea et trope tusculo. Wea non longa et. Tusculo. Wea nulli non longa et. Julius was close. Uh, okay, in Pictura. Okay. Uh, Julius et quator servi in Ria. Julius ab opido ad vilam suam it. Uh, it. Uh, okay. It. Et to soon. Ah, to schoolum, ad willam. Willam. Ah, to schoolum, ad willam, it. It, it, it. Um, dominus et servi ab opido ad willam, ah, it. Oh, I'm going to tell you, you know. And you better get him, sorry, because I blew it. Maybe those two sentences. Julius. I see Julius. Ab. Opido. Ad. Willam. Eat. Dominus et servi. Ab. Opido. Ad. Willam. Eat. Unus. Will. Eat. Moti. It's a, it's a, one person goes, eat, a group of people, eat, they go. Okay, it's the yeah. singular and plural, okay. right? 
Exactly, it's exactly. And we kind of learned also that whenever we see that in the T ending, it's probably one person. And when we see the N T ending, it's probably more than one person because that seems to, to, to happen over and over again. Um Dominus in Lexica S. In Lexica. There we portant. William. In Lexica. Mm-hmm. Uh, Duo servi lexicum, lexicum cum domino portant. Dominus est in lexica, et servi portant lexicum cum domino. Okay. The servants are carrying him in the lexica, in the whatever you call that. Okay, so do we we must become condoning of Proton? Said we could let become Proton? So Ursus et Davos. Ursus et Davos, Proton, let become. That's in particular. Julius non in via ambulat. Said we am Proton. Julius non ambulat. Yes, Julius as Dominus. Julius in Lexica. Servi portant Dominus. Curus et Leander ambulant. Curus sacum portant et Leander quicquet. Sacum portat. Curus et Leander duos sacos in umeris. In umeris portat. In umeris. Yeah, on the back and the shoulders. Saki, quos curus et Leander portat, magni sort. Saki sunt magni. In Umeris. Said Sacus Quinsurus Porta, non tam magnus est quam Sacus Leandri. Surus Porta Magnus, Magnum Sacum. In there, Porta Sacum, eh, non tam Magnum. So which one has the heavier sack, the bigger sack? The I know, it doesn't, does it? But it says, Surus, Saki Kosurus. Oh, I mean, yes. Yeah, and then they put on the money, it says, Sakus Quim Surus Portas. Yes, yes, you're right. Non Tom Manu says, from Sakus Leandri. So I said it wrong. Leander Portas, Magnum Saku. Quartor servi. Dominum et dur sacum. Ab opido ad vilam wehut. Wehut. Yeah, well, the, but it's a bird. They're doing it to the next. What? They're carrying, but that the court how the court is carrying. Is it more like bringing? Bringing, conveying, transporting. Uh, transporting, transporting is good. Um, no, we could use either one. Mm -hmm. We just said, said we portant dominum et said we portant sabos. Or, said we weigh hunt, going on at said we weigh hunt, but it's got the idea of kind of dragging it along, you know, conveying, transporting, that's good. Just using the word. Just like in English. We have more than one word for that idea. We do too. Alright, Julius in Lexica S. Inter Ursum et Davo. Ursus. Davos, 
parents as Julius. Julius in Latina. Uh, Ursus as Ante Julian, thou was post. To, uh, Ursus as Ante Julian, thou was as post. Ante, post. That's in Pitura, right? Ursus is in front, and Ursus thou is behind. Julius and the Ander, non ante lexicon, says post lexicon on the left. Julius and the Ander, so post lexicon. Venit ne Julius, a vila, vila, Open them. And Julius, that's that way. We need the Julius. Ah, we love. No, no. Ah, we love. We need. One day, one day, we need Julius. Ab, open them. Quote, is Julius. Ad, we love. Unde et quo. Unde ab opido. Quo ad vino. Unde ab opido. Quo ad vino. You see what they are? If I ask. Unde, 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 if you use. Abo pido, abo pido. Where? But they're both asking where, but they're asking a different kind of where. Unde, abo pido. Quo, ad vilam. From from where and then from where and to where to where to. Exactly, because we we would just say where. You have to have more than one word in English. But they're saying unde, unde, Julius, abo pido. From where? From the town. Quote? Adriva. Mm. You see? And so the idea is from where are you coming and to where are you going? And we just can't say that with one word in English. But they can't. They're not in the um, Post? Oh. Post AM. Oh. I am Julius. Sum Julius. Post? Aeum, post Julium, who's going to ask? Ante Aeum, as we left. Right? I am going ab opido ad vilum. Post est opido. Ante as we left. Post ante. Because this is the direction I'm going. I know this is very probably tiresome, but you have to get it. Move along with the story. We get it. He's arriving in the thing. They're going from the town home. But they've given us a lot of new words here. Okay. Julius non solus non est. Nam quator servi. A pud eum. A pud eum. In uh, Montague, in the edge of the page, it says, A pud eum servi means cum eum servi. With him. Okay. Okay. Awkward kind of has the idea in his presence. Okay. In his presence. No loan because he has four servants with him. Medus, non est, awkward dominum, non is dominum eratum connect. Medus connect dominum. Quia medus habet. Right? Yeah. So he's not with them. He's taken off because he's in trouble. He's in big trouble. The medicine's not there. Medicine is like, what? Timet. Um, You can remember it's easily timid. Timid comes from that. Um, so, um, medicine is timid. Medus es malus servus. Qui numos domini in sacerdotuo habet. 
Ida. A Dominus, o oh, servos malus baculo verberat. Et baculum, Dominus eratus verberat. Malum servum. Ita quae, servi mali, dominum et basculum tenet. Tenet, an eus, uh, basculum eus. Yes. They fear not only the master, but they fear him. Davos out him, bonus servos et. Neque is medum amat. Davos non amat medum. Quia medus et malus servos. Bonus bonus non amat medum. They do not get a lot. Gawis thinks not very highly of medum. So often people like to think of anything like that. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So there, yeah, yes. Autumn, uh, but we could say probably however. Okay. However, Gawis uh, um, uh, does not love medum. Davus amicus medi non est. Nam servus bonus et servus malus non amici sed inimici sort. Davus est in inicus. Quia medus est malus. Et bonus servus est inimici. Right? He's not a friend, the bad servant. Right? The good servants and the bad servants aren't friendly with each other. Does that make sense? Let's read that again. Um, I'm going to find it again. Davos amicus medi non est. Nam servus bonus et servus malus non amici sed inimici Medus est in amicus daus. He is a, a non-friend. Or he is unfriendly of daus. Ursus out him amicus daus est. Daus et ursus sunt amici. Davus et medus sunt inimici. Medus ab est ad domino suo. Ad, ad est ab est. Medus ab est. A, a, um. Ad domino suo. From his own, he's, he's lost. Do you think the slaves are supposed to just run off? No. Do you no. think they're still in it? No. Esme, esme in obido tuscolo? Es medus in obido tuscolo? Medus tuscoli non est. Neque romai est medus. Medus non est in tuscolo. Medus non est in Roma. Sed in via Latina, inter Roma et Tusculo. Medus est in via Latina, inter Tusculo et Roma. That's where Medus is right now. He's on the road from Tusculum to Rome. He is not supposed to be on the road, on the road from Tusculum to Rome. One day, one day when he's Medus. Okay. Unde? Unde? Unde venit meris? Tuscula. Ah, Tuscula. Tuscula venit. Neque is ad vila mili iit. Medus. Medus. Iit. Ab. Medus non eat ad vilam you eat. Okay. 
No, no on pagila. Mēs ir tā, ka līdz no. 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 Jūlis ir tā, ka līdz no. Jūlis ir tā, ka līdz no. Unde, unde, abo pido, from the town. Quo, to where? Adila. Med is known in Adila. Not going home, yeah. Are they on the exact same road? Unclear. They're not going to run into each other. Okay. Okay. Quo, quo, is med. Med is known in Adila. Medus it ad Romam. Na non ad Vilam ad Romam. Tusculum, okay. Tusculum post AMS ante AMS Roma. Tusculum is post. Roma is ante. Medus via Latina. Tusculo. Tusculo. Roma. Now, look at the little circles. Do you see all the circles, the lovely circles? In the, in the margins? Yeah. Let's talk about that. I've been using A or Og away from the town and Og Milam to the villa, because that's how we would normally say it. But sometimes cities have their own case, that way that means to there or from there or in there. Okay. And you don't have to use preposition. Uh -huh. And city, a lot of city names are like that. Just let a circle show you. Let's take a look. A. Romai. S. Romai is, means I am at Rome. It's a genitive ending. It's a possessive ending. But it doesn't mean Rome owns anything. It just, that's the ending name. It means he's at Rome. Okay. You see that? So B, Tuscany. I am at Tuscany. If I'm on B, right? Okay. Romai at Tuscany are genitive endings. But they mean, if it's a town, they might mean you're at the town. You're in it. They're in the town. Now look what's happening at C. C is going from Rome to Tusculum, right? They're believing Rome and they're headed to Tusculum with their C. Roma, from Rome, to Tusculum, to Tusculum East. The outlet means I'm going away and the key means I'm going towards it. And then they switch it up. Look at D. The person who's in D is going away from Tusculum and they're headed to Rome. You see that? So it switches it up. Romam to Rome, Tusculo from Tusculum. So here's here's the deal. Here's what these circles show you. And if you jot this down, we'll probably wrap it up here and just read the rest of this chapter after Christmas together. If I use the genitive endings, you know that I or E with endings, it means I am at in the town. I am there. If I use the accusative ending, you know, um, um, that means I am headed toward the place. And if I use the ablative ending, like ah uh, or oh, it means I'm coming from you to do over Christmas. I don't expect you to just like pray in Latin over Christmas. Don't worry about it. We are going to come and we're going to pick up where we left off. We'll all remember, I think we'll remember that we're right there by those circles. What I'd love for you to do is just spend some time working back through the portion of this chapter we read together. You do not have to read the parts that we haven't read together yet. Unless you just want to. You're free to read. There's only, there's only one more page, I believe. 
but after this, and then a little, a few sentences. If you want to read through that, I'm, I'm fine with that. But this is kind of a lot to take in, the whole, but, but you see what they're focusing on. From where to where. When they quote, and we have special ways to say that about towns. That's what we're trying to learn and absorb. And then these calm, calm things. So if all you do is just, you know, before we get together, you know, five or six times, you just read through the couple of pages that we read together. I, I, I put on the email, I haven't talked about yet, I need to remember to change it. If an email comes to your parents and it says, do pens and C's, it's a lie. Don't do it. Because don't do it until we've read the whole chapter. You can't answer the questions about the chapter until we've read the chapter. But if you would just sort of try to absorb the whole Tom Quam thing, and the unde quo, and then take a look numerous times at those circles, and think about what they're showing you, that this one means I'm at the place, this one means I'm going away from the place, this one means I'm going to the place. That, are we good with that? Does that make sense to everybody? And I think that will be enough, especially since it's holiday. And you guys are doing an amazing job. But I'm, we're probably going to spend a good long time on this because we, we haven't even hit the um, uh, uh, passive. Oh, the passive and uh, the active the and active. passive. We haven't really met that in this chapter yet. All the stuff that we read was all about the Unde and Quo. So we will talk about that again. Um, and I will, in the meantime, I will go over your worksheet. And then I will know when we get together. It's like, oh, you know, you've misunderstood the way this works, so I need to talk about it a little bit more. And we should have no problem going over the worksheets and reading the rest of this chapter together. Um, but yeah, we'll say at least, at least five or six times before we meet again, try to reread to yourself all the stuff we read today. And if, and listen to it on the YouTube, if you're the guy too, but just stop it when you get to that place. Um, if you are reading and you just can't figure out what something means again, just email me or call me. Don't, don't wait three weeks. But other than that, thank you. Have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you.